Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody out there in TV land, podcast land. Hello, America. Welcome to the Ray Aminat Show. I, of course, am Ray Aminat, and you're listening to me or, or watching me on the OBBM network as well as Facebook or YouTube. Um, those of you that are celebrating Valentine's Day, everyone should be. Uh, happy Valentine's to you. Uh, as well as if you see anybody with some ashes on their forehead, they're in observance of Ash Wednesday. So um, a long time ago, I had a client of mine, and you know I'm not Catholic or, or Christian or whatever, and she came in to train. And she had the ashes on her forehead, and I'm like, hey, you got a little something up there. And she's like, it's Ash Wednesday. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. Um, So I got a little bit of a a historical background on Ash Wednesday, setting up for Lent and Easter and everything else. So uh, those of you that are uh, in observance with that, you know, uh, I apologize for being ignorant, not knowing as much as I should. Um, On today's show, we will delve into Alzheimer's, dementia, and its relation to our commander-in-chief. We'll get into Florida happenings, as well as, of course, our Mindset Minute, along with Teachable Moments. So hold on to your shorts, everybody. Uh, Welcome to the Ray Amrat Show. First, we want to do some housekeeping. So let me... Uh, get to this. For those of you that uh, want to get a hold of me, you can email me at ray at heroesinactionnow.org. If you're listening, that is ray at h-e-r-o-e-s-i-n-a-c-t-i-o-n-n-o-w.org. Sorry for it being so long. Uh, Email me comments, uh, suggestions, if you like what I'm talking about, if you don't like what I'm talking about, hey, oh, well, that's, 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 it is what it is. Um, also, uh, where are we? If you want to get a hold of me, my work number is, uh, Florida number, should I say, is 727-314-2534. If you want to get a hold of me directly, you can always call my cell at 314 314- Five seven zero zero two four three. Leave a comment or a message or anything you want. You can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash one. I'm going to cough here. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Um, and if you want to go to our website to get a little bit more information about what Heroes in Action is and what we do to help our schools, community, businesses all around, you can go to heroesinaction.us, heroesinaction.us. All right, um, I think I got one more reminder I need to put up, which I do not have that slide. Shame on me. Okay, Uh, as always, this is an opinion-based show. Uh, Any of our sponsors, affiliates, or anyone that is associated with this show uh, is not responsible for any comments that come out of this mouth. Um, So it's it's just my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a news pundit. Uh, this is an opinion-based show, although some of the news pundits that I've seen out there are a little full of themselves with their opinions. Uh, if they should, they should just report the news. Um, I've been gravitating more to One America News to get my news, not only what's happening here in our country, but also what's happening around the world. So if you want a trustworthy news station, I would check out One America News. Um, also our own network here, the OBBM network. You can go on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Rumble, any of those, look up the OBBM network. They don't just have 
my show, but they've got a lot of other podcasts. It is a freedom-based or free speech, freedom-based uh, network uh, with a lot of conservative talk shows. So uh, check out the OBBM network. More on them later on. Okay, first, let's get into a little bit about today. In this segment called... That's not the sound effect I wanted, but let's go with headline news. Before I get started with some of the other stuff, I want to, because I am not a doctor. Uh, Me personally, my first job ever, I worked at a nursing home. I worked with a lot of people that had Alzheimer's and dementia. I've had family members that had Alzheimer's and dementia. And I just want to get somebody on record that is a little bit more of a professional than me to kind of give you the definition of that. So let me cue this video up and new. I'm going to talk about dementia. Symptoms of dementia can include memory loss, difficulties with thinking, reasoning or language, and some changes in behaviour. But dementia affects everyone differently. Some things to look out for are struggling to remember recent events or people's names, finding it hard to follow conversations or TV programmes, repeating yourself or losing the thread of what you're saying, difficulty concentrating, thinking things through or following instructions, feeling confused even when in a well-known place, becoming unusually anxious, depressed or agitated. If you're worried that you or someone close to you might have dementia, it's important to talk about it. Does that sound like somebody we know? Does that describe somebody we know? Um, Somebody that is actually running our country. Let's go to this one, shall we? Our enemies don't fear us anymore. They have no respect for us anymore. And our adversaries don't trust us anymore. And it's because we don't have the leadership in the White House that we need. And it's because this man, whether he, even if he wanted to, he cannot provide that leadership. He is not physically and cognitively fit for office anymore. And somebody in his inner circle needs to step up to the plate and make him aware of this. And he needs to move on for, for, for the safety and security of this country. So... You've heard of elder abuse. We have elder abuse and we also have national abuse. The security of this country, it's abusing us, we the people, uh, because we have somebody that's not capable of. Now, this is actually the first segment that was supposed to come before the last segment. So we'll play this and then. Talk about something's it. going on here. This man's got cognitive issues related to his age. It's just continued to get worse. And I did this the other day. I went back and I looked at some stuff from two or three years ago when he was or from three over three years ago when he was running for office and compared it to right now. And it's just unbelievable how much he's degenerated just during his time in office. We cannot afford to have this man in office for you know the remainder of this term and then another four years after that. He's already putting us at great risk right now. Yes, when we talk about everything that's happening in the border, which we talked about in our last show, and we talk about all the drugs that are coming in, fentanyl, and we talk about how he has to have staffers tell him where to go, tell him what to say or do. He's reading off of a teleprompter, everybody. Reading off of a teleprompter, it's on his uh, left-hand side, on his right-hand side, and he's still not getting the message out there clear enough. He's still stumbling. So, and then there is this. But the nature, not... Hold on there. And uh, I'll go ahead and just pull a shot. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in a foot. foot. Look. A solid meeting with um, with uh, the uh, Los Angeles and uh, and uh, um, uh, 
Um, what am I doing here? What is he doing there? It's it's sad that his wife, Jill Biden, is stepping up and saying, hey, look, no, he's full of energy. And then his press secretary is, President Biden does more in one hour than most people do. Uh, I want to, uh, he did not do an interview uh, before the Super Bowl, which would have shown us if he's so capable of doing more in one hour, uh, making decisions and giving feedback and input, then why is he not capable enough to sit and do an interview uh, pre-Super Bowl with reporters asking him questions? Uh, they're all, this is elder abuse, uh, whatever they're injecting him prior to a speech to make him semi, uh, aware of what's going on around them. And then when it wears off, oh, we got to get the Easter bunny to help guide him to wherever he's got to go. Easter is coming up. You know, I learned that a few, uh, a long time ago. Uh, but anyway, it, it's, it's sad. It's a sad state of affairs. We have a leadership or a leader that is uh, being propped up by other people. Um, here, I got a question for you guys uh, before we go to a networking break. Have, if they were to leave President Biden by himself, by himself, no staffers or anyone around, my question is this. After a half hour or so, will there be a silver alert out looking for him, trying to find out where he's gone? I'd like to see if that would actually happen. Put it to a test, people. Can he stay somewhere by himself or will he disappear? I don't know. But on this headline news moment, um, you know, with our president pretty much losing his mental functions, um, I hope somebody within his cabinet steps up and says, we can't do this anymore. We can't prop up, up prop them up anymore. Um, again, this is an opinion based show. That's my thoughts. That's my opinion. Um, uh, let's go to our first sponsor, which let me pull up this banner. Da, da, da. It is unlimitedtoysforyou.com. So this is a site that I've created. And well, thank you, thank you. It's, it's setting up toys that help kids problem solve and become critical thinkers. Uh, I'll be adding more toys to it once I add other affiliates to this web page. But in the meantime, go check it out. It's unlimitedtoys4u.com. Unlimited toys is the words and then the number four and the letter u.com. All right, check it out. And hey, please uh, give me some feedback on it. Let me know if you have any toys or things that you'd like to see me put on there that is beneficial to the growth of a child. All right. Next thing we've got, let's get into, hmm, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Boy, it's rough me doing everything here. This is a segment that we're going to call Florida Living. So as you can see by my backdrop, there's a beach, there's the sun, there's the flag. I love Florida. I'm originally from St. Louis. I uh, missed a lot of things about St. Louis, but I can't wait to wake up in the morning and get out uh, in Florida. Went for my walk earlier today. Going to be doing some training later on. Uh, but what is happening in Florida? Let's check this out.
And that, everybody, is the Florida State Fair, which is at 4800 U.S. Highway 301 in Tampa, Florida. And the fair will go up until the 19th of this month. 19th of this month. So we've got about five more days to head out to the uh, Florida State Fair. Check it out. Lots of good food, lots of good rides, uh, people to watch or people to engage in and have a little fun. If you're in the Florida area, go check out the Florida State Fair again at 4800 U.S. Highway 301 in Tampa, Florida. All right. Um, I'd like to bring up this sponsor, which is Defenders Gateway. Defenders Gateway. Um, is an organization that really wants to help first responders, police officers, uh, paramedics, firefighters, as well as all our veterans or people in the military by creating an app that gives them job opportunities, gives them vet-friendly or first responder-friendly uh, offerings, discounts uh, to their goods or services. So let's check this out with the Defenders Gateway Network. Defenders Gateway, we have created an amazing program to drive business to your door. Defenders Gateway app is the most unique way to honor and support our active military, veterans, active retired first responders, Gold Star and fallen first responder families. Our goal at Defenders Gateway is to create a national network of businesses, Gateway Partners, that offer honorary discounts to Defenders. Our exclusive vetting process validates the Defenders before they can use the app. No more stolen honor. We provide a seamless method of displaying discounts offered while directing Defenders to your door. The Defenders Virtual ID presents a picture, current time and date, your store number or store picture, and the agreed location discount. Defenders Gateway is a unique and cost-effective program. Defenders Gateway. Okay, so if you want more information on the Defenders Gateway or to learn how to download the app, you can go to defenders-gateway.com. Again, that's Defenders hyphengateway.com. Uh, they do vet you to make sure you are a defender. Um, and once they approve you, then you have access to all of the apps, uh, opportunities or, uh, what they have to offer offerings, uh, that you can utilize. Okay. Moving on everybody. Hope you guys are having fun. Let me get to our Mindset Minute. Now, on our Mindset Minute, which, <laughs> let's give this a title. This is all based off of my book, which is uh, the Bully, Victim, or Hero that I wrote years and years ago. <laughs> Now, of course, on this Mindset Minute, uh, what I want to talk to you, there's a chapter in the book that is called, Who Are You? And I want to ask you who you are. Most people, if you were to take down a piece of paper and write down who you are, a lot of people would say, okay, I'm a father or I'm a mother. Um, I am, they'll talk about what they do for a living or a career, whether it's doctor, lawyer, teacher, housewife whatever they do. Um, they might talk about what hobbies they do. I'm a tennis player. I'm a gamer. I'm a golfer. Uh, but I want you to write down as far as who you are from the moment you wake up in the morning until the moment you go to sleep. Um, uh, because you are significant. A lot of people say, well, I'm just a housewife. No, you're more than a housewife. Um, and I'm going to prove you wrong. From the moment you wake up, first of all, are you a son or a daughter? Of course you are. Are you a brother or a sister to somebody? 
Are you an aunt or an uncle? Are you um, a parent yourself, a mom or a dad? I mean, we're going to keep adding to this. Are you a caregiver for someone? Are you a cook, a chef, if you have to prepare food for your family? Are you a uh, an Uber or Lyft driver where you got to drive your kids to school, to t-ball games, soccer games, or practices, or gymnastics, or anything like that? Are you a chauffeur? Um, you might be an Uber driver. I'm an Uber driver part-time, and uh, I use that to help supplement my income to continue my foundation going with Heroes in Action. Are you a, um, a musician? Do you play music? Uh, are you uh, somebody that enjoys listening to music? Are you, um, you know... I guess you can get the point. Who are you? I want you to take a piece of paper, write down a list of all the things that you are. Are you a best friend to someone? Are you a lover? Are you a, uh, uh, and you keep adding to this. I'm just trying to give you other examples so that you could see everything that you do in your life has purpose, has meaning, that you're so much more to not just yourself, but to other people in your life. So for this Mindset Minute, I want you guys to really delve into thinking about who you are. Um, and I'm kind of going back to uh, uh, President Biden. Yes, he's a father. Uh, he's a husband. He's the president of the United States. But the next question is, what kind of a person are you? If you're not able to be a good father or able to be a good husband or wife, or if you're whatever your career is, if you're doing something that is... Um, inappropriate or wrong that hurts the, what you do as your career what kind of a best friend are you what kind of a brother or sister are you if you on a scale of one to ten put down five or less then you're going to have to ask yourself well what are you going to do about it i'm not a great cook I can take cooking lessons so if i give myself a scale a, a score of four I go, you know what, I'm going to take cooking lessons or I'm going to watch the cooking network and learn how to better prep my meals and prepare them so that they are better. So I can shoot that number up to a, a 7, 8, or hey, why not a 10? Uh, ask yourself, who are you? Then what kind of a person are you on a scale of 1 to 10? And if you're scoring yourself five or below, then what are you going to do about it? Are you going to, are you happy or content with that? Or do you want to actually take the steps to make improvements as to who you are and what type of a person you want to be in all facets of your life from morning to night? That's your homework assignment on this mindset minute. Let's keep yourself in mind and see if we can move forward and uh, make more improvements uh, because we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm always trying to better myself, including this show. I'm a podcaster. Uh, what kind of a podcaster am I? I don't know. I'll give myself maybe a five or a six. I would love to improve this show and make it a 10. But you guys can tell me what number would you give me? How would you rate me on this podcast? What kind of a podcaster I am? So again, those of you that are interested in learning more about this topic, you can find my book, Bully, Victim, or Hero, at Barnes & Noble, uh, Amazon. You can go to my website at heroesinaction.us. But... Regardless, 
check it out, read it, and tell me what you think. Again, if you want to go to my website, it's heroesinaction.us, and you can find my books on there, which will take you to a lot of those uh, links that we talked about. So from the Mindset Minute, let's go to our next sponsor, which, uh, of course, is very important to us here. Let me pump up their spot. Check this out. So for information on the OBBM network, if you're thinking about starting a podcast and would like to do kind of an audition, uh, you can contact the OBBM network uh, at their website, obbmnetwork.com, and they'll look at your podcast, and if it's something that they think fits within their realm, Uh, then they'll get you uh, signed up and get you on a lot of these other social media sites and get you going. You know, we are here in Florida, so I'm part of Traverse TV and uh, looking forward to going to Ohio and a lot of other states uh, through the syndication of the OBBM network. Um, So it's well worth it. Check out the OBBM network. So, I got a question for you. Let me get rid of that and bring you this. Why is this not working? Aha, I got it. Are you teachable? So as a coach for over 43 years, I've worked with people of all ages, pretty much as young as five years old on up to active seniors in their 70s and 80s. And when we talk about are you teachable, is that that means are you someone that can take constructive criticism? Are you someone that it's willing to try new things to make your life better? Kind of like I talked about with my cooking, if my cooking isn't that good, you know, I can go to get cooking lessons or I can watch the Food Network or do other things to improve myself because I am teachable, I am coachable, I want to make improvements to my life. There's a lot of people that I've come across that, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm, I'm the best that there is. I, I, how many of you know somebody that's a know-it-all? that knows everything, that you can't tell them anything, you can't change their mind, they're always right. I've come across a lot of those people, and they're not teachable, they're not coachable, and I try not to even waste my time or my breath uh, working with them. I will work with them, but I'll wait for them to come to me when they're ready Uh, If they're stuck and don't know what to do, what to say, or how to handle something, uh, then they'll come to me and ask me questions. And uh, when when they do that, when you have that know-it-all that comes up to you and asks you a question, then you know they're ready to be teachable. Uh, But you have to do it in a way that gives them uh, the opportunity to go on self-discovery and kind of figure things out for themselves. So I, as a coach or a guide, I give you different directions or different paths that you can take and let you experiment with those and you come up with uh, that aha moment that, oh my gosh, I figured it out. A lot of times you think you did it yourself, but sometimes you need a coach or a trainer or a teacher to kind of guide you or point you in the right direction. I had uh, a a friend of mine that was a personal trainer that they broke it down very eloquently by saying, I am a tour guide. We are going on a, a hike up this mountain. 
You're going to need a walking stick. You're going to need a lead rope and touch, you know, to be able to follow everyone else because some of those areas are steep. Now, while we're going up this mountain, if you didn't have a guide to say, hey, be careful, this algae on these rocks can make it real slippery and kind of show you where to go or how to step or where to step. If you didn't have that guide there, you'd step on that, you know, slip and fall and just go down that mountain. Sometimes we need that guide to point out the dangers of things that we're not familiar with or we don't know about so we can go through that process of going through the mountain with the help of a guide until you've learned what to look for and what to do and are able to do it yourself or be the lead uh, person in guiding others up that mountain. So are you a teachable person? Are you somebody that is willing to take advice and let somebody guide you, maybe give you some choices, and then you can ultimately go through self-discovery and figure things out on your own where you make those improvements in whatever aspect of your life that you want to improve on. Um, That is brought to your Mindset Minute is, of course, I'm going to say brought to you by Heroes in Action. So let me get this cool little tidbit here. Hold, please. Again, Heroes in Action, we have a training center in Port Ritchie, Florida, We're running a special three-class intro for $77. You can come in, try try our training out for three sessions. If you like it, great. Then we can get you going on a regular training program. If you don't like it, no hard feelings. At least you walk away learning something. Um, uh, Just don't let the door hit you on your way out. Just kidding. Maybe not. Uh, but we'd love to see you. We'd love to work with you and train you again, uh, one-on-one or group classes. Come on in. Let's get to training. Um, uh, I think that is going to wrap up our show. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you need to get a hold of me, you can go to Ray at heroes and action now.org. You can call us at 727-314-2534 or my direct number, my cell, 314-570-0243. Thank you for being a part of our show. Please leave comments on our Facebook page when this show shows up on there. Uh, Let us know what you think uh, about this new format. We'll have safety tips on future episodes. We're working on the video productions for that now. So once we get those edited and everything else, then we'll have some safety tips that we'll add to the show. You can email me directly and let us know how we can help you. Until then, as always, stay safe.